Hey guys, uh, my name is Michael Paltan and I'm the founder of Zoom Admin. In this video, we'll cover some of the monitoring features of Zoom Admin, how it monitors your servers, what options you have, some of the basics uh, we'll cover in this video. So as you can see, I've connected multiple servers here. Uh, at a glance, when you log in into portal, you will see some of the basic information about the, each server, including the Linux version, the, the CPU, memory, disk size, the usage for each of them, right? And if it does exceed 80%, it will turn red, it will start notifying you. So that's one of the core monitoring features we have is it will, it will, this, these features will be, um, the, uh, the statuses will be updated every few minutes. And as, as, as soon as it starts, exceeding certain percentage like 80 percent it will start um it will start notifying you and ask you to do something about that otherwise your server might go down and i'm sure if you've managed servers before it's really easy for some kind of log file to corrupt the storage and take all the space and then your server goes down right so that's why we want to prevent that happening and before it goes too far at 80 percent it will start notifying you so now what are some of the other monitoring features so if you go into your server under machine here you have all these um, options to kind of monitor different things you can go into the specific section let's say users and see all the users you have on the machine and this is a great way to monitor your users and if you're giving access to other people, it's a, it's a good idea to sometimes come back and check here because to make sure that there's no backdoors, no one is creating some additional users for you know on your machine without you knowing. So it's a good way to come here and quickly monitor. And we are planning on adding, adding features coming soon that will allow you to create update users from directly from our admin panel. Next is uh, services, same thing here. It'll show you the different services running on your machine, like MySQL, Zoom Admin is also a service, as you can see, you know, how much memory CPU they all take. Uh, and for the case of Zoom Admin, if it's installing software or is running something, it might take a bit more, but uh, otherwise it should be pretty quiet. Um, same thing with others, uh, MySQL usually takes a bit more. You can see Apache, and we're also planning on adding features here to be able to start stop services, restart them, things like that, to make the management and monitoring um, much easier, all directly from the admin panel, from, from this Zoom admin panel without logging into the server. Same thing with the processes, you will see a list of processes running um, and be able to kill and then we start them, we set them uh, from here as well, but at a glance you can see if the processes, their statuses, you can search. Um, same goes for connections. Connections is not a good one to, to see what ports you, you have opened on your server to see what connections are happening. Uh, as you can see in this server, we have you know SSH port open, um, some of the other ones, but we're not opening any additional ports with Zoom Admin, right? That's the beauty of Zoom Admin. It's not like other control panels where they open ports on your servers. Instead, Zoom Admin works with message queues, so it doesn't open any port. It does communicate, like this is the Zoom Admin connection here. It communicates outside, so this is our port that it's communicating, our, our server that's communicating with, but it's not actually opening a um, server, any, any port directly on your server. Um, so that's, again, connections is another way to monitor the server. And sometimes when you have a lot of um, traffic, uh, traffic on the side, you can come here and see, you know, what's happening. If a specific process or um, IP is taking a lot of uh, hitting your site a lot, you might want to block specific IPs, things like that. It, it's really nice to see on your connections all in one place and be able to search as well. System logs is also another important one. All the most, you know, all the software, basically a lot of the different softwares report issues in system logs. So it's a good idea to sometimes come here and take a look at your messages you might have, or if something is not working this probably the first place you want to check to see uh, what what's happening. And if it's, let's say MySQL error you're getting, you could search MySQL and, and see if you have any MySQL specific error messages, things like that. So 
So these are some of the basics on monitoring uh, your server and some of the features we have and we'll keep continue, uh, we'll continue adding more features and automation with monitoring as well. Uh, but at the first glance, it does have some of the information that you need to do a better job with monitoring your servers. That's it for this video. If you need uh, more help with, uh, with Zoom Admin, feel free to reach out. We also have a lot of other videos you can watch, a demo of, of the specific functionality, whatever your interest is. My name is Michael Paltan. I'm the founder of Zoom Admin. Thank you for watching. To continue watching, click on one of the following videos and click the ZA icon in the middle to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us with YouTube algorithm. And comment below if you have any questions or you can also email me directly, michael at zoomadmin.com. Thanks again.